The Astrologer by J. G. H. Hopman A Completely Untrue Story The Presidium of the Council of Europe in Strasbourg hands over to the Archive du Conseil de l'Europe the following volume with the explicit note strictement confidentiel. These are the eyewitness accounts of a disgraced former police student and his fiancée, a bakery sales assistant with a criminal record. The documents are of global political relevance and require a thorough verification de la veracité with regard to the life and work of the legendary astrologer Scultatus. Great Radiance, Sunday the 29th of December 2019. Oberlautzitz, 5.58 a.m. Rotenburg. It is still dark. The emergency lighting is on at the Saxony Police College. In front of it, on a country road, we see the twinkling illumination of an ancient refreshment truck. Snow blows over the display settling like icing sugar on the freshly baked cinnamon stars, on the soft crusty rolls, the wholemeal bread and rock-hard salt particles. Thick clouds of condensation drift out of the nostrils of the girl behind the counter. She rolls her scarf tighter around her slender neck, buttons her cardigan over her flowery apron. A few little spots, not so visible in the winter air, gleam on her forehead and cheeks. A face without freckles is like the moon without stars, says her lover. Her eyes are like suns, and her naked fingertips are like curious mice as they peek out of the cut-off woolen socks Evie wears as gloves. Max brings out a fresh coffee from the police academy, because a proper coffee machine in the bakery van is still in the planning stage. Careful, Evie. It's hot. Thank you. Here's a bag of pastries for today's duties. The Great European Planet Festival. Bodyguard for the night. No, just escorting a celebrity from Berlin to Dresden. You can come too. Here's a voucher for the hotel, bed and breakfast included. A festival ticket with access to the VIP area. You're totally nuts, Max. Yep. The tickets are in your name. No problem. In the evening we can go to the party. And afterwards, me with all my pimples among all the celebrities. A face without, yeah, yeah. 300 years since a dream wedding in 1719. Did you know how many children that Saxon prince made for his princess? 15. We need to talk. About what? Evie's face gets so red that all her freckles seem to fade away. Some headlights flash. A heavy, chrome-plated luxury car draws up. The lady behind the wheel has put on blood-red lipstick. Provocative makeup encircles her eyes. She gets out, smiles, and waves the car keys. Beneath her luxurious Persian lamb coat lurks an elegant black business dress, unusually short for this time of year. She cuts an amazing figure. Max reaches for the pastry bag, trying not to look. Wow! A VW Phaeton GP4 from a transparent factory in Dresden. Fuel injected, six litres displacement, 12 cylinders, 450 HP at 6,050 revs. See you later. The lady clocks the kiss Evie blows after him. She gets in on the passenger side. Her skirt rides up revealing suspender stockings and tanned thighs fresh from the solarium. The police student revs up the engine and sets off on his assignment. Rolling grit splatters against the rusty bakery truck. Wide-walled tread tyres knead the black asphalt. The red taillights speed away into the bushy pine forests. <laughs>